Happy Halloween. Unfortunately, I made no effort to dress up, but I do have my phantom artwork in the corner there, and that's sadly probably the scariest thing in the video, so I'll, I'll try and do better next time. But to save me, we do have Capcom, makers of our favourite survival horror series, one of the better ones, Resident Evil, and it sounds like there's actually going to be a new game from them within the next few months. It says here that Capcom are releasing a major unannounced title by the end of the current fiscal year, ending March 2024. And I don't know about you, but when you get to my age, time goes very, very quickly. So that is going to, to come around sooner than we think. And you would guess if Capcom are going to release a game, it's probably going to be in February, March. It mentions in here that they might announce this at the Game Awards in December. So it's going to be a short turnaround before we get our next Capcom game. They've been on a, a very good run. We've had the Resident Evil 4 remake, which I think exceeded expectations. I know there was a lot of concern from not only survival horror fans of the traditional Resident Evil, the PS1 sort of era games, but even fans of Resident Evil 4, the action, I suppose, horror title, where they worried that Capcom were going to take out some of the fun of the original game and it was going to be more like a, a Resident Evil 7 or a Resident Evil Village. Wasn't really the case at all. It was true to form. It was a reimagining the gameplay. It, it felt modern. It felt really, really smooth, but it captured the spirit of the original. So Capcom have just been doing really well. Are we going to be getting a, a Resident Evil game though between now and March? Probably not. I, I think that would be hoping from fans to, to think you're going to get something again so soon. We've just had separate ways. I can't believe it's been a month since that. So probably a bit greedy to expect something this early. However, there's plenty of other franchises. I thought maybe Devil May Cry. I've been corrected by Devil May Cry enthusiasts though that the studio there is actually the one responsible for Dragon's Dogma 2. So they've got their hands full they're obviously developing that RPG. It looks pretty good. I've seen trailers. Hopefully that delivers. Doesn't actually have a release date. I'm not sure if there's a release sort of schedule, if it's maybe late next year, 2025. But it's it's coming, and hopefully they do good work. The original's are a fantastic game, one of the more underrated, I suppose, mainstream RPGs. That's worth checking out. Probably not Dragon's Dogma 2, probably not DMC 6. Could it be Monster Hunter 6? That's one that's actually been on Capcom's roadmaps at different times. A sequel to Monster Hunter World, which I believe was their best-selling game ever. I remember seeing it, and Monster Hunter was always a series. I thought, yeah, I've heard of it. It looks interesting. Never really gave it a shot. But Monster Hunter World, so much positive word of mouth. It was a, a complete juggernaut. And it seemed to just catapult Capcom back into everyone's good graces. There was that whole period, Resident Evil 6, everyone's... Capcom, you're sort of going the way of Konami or EA or, or just some terrible publishers. But they brought it right back in that year where they had DMC 5, I believe. Resident Evil 7, Return to Form, and then of course... Monster Hunter World. So some people are saying it could be Monster Hunter 6. It seems like such a short turnaround though, given it was such a great massive selling game for the Monster Hunter World. You would think that there would be a bit of excitement there that they would hype it up. They would announce it maybe June this year for a release in March if they were going to do it to get everyone pumped. To see them announce it in December with a, a fair ball March release date. It would be odd to me, but it's happened before. We've seen, say, Bethesda in old times, before they announced Elder Scrolls 6 10 years in advance to, to trick people into getting excited for Fallout 76 all those years ago. They used to announce titles with a really short time frame announcement, then release. It would happen super quickly, and it would mean that everyone stays excited. They don't start seeing trailers and think, hang on, that game's been downgraded from what we saw when you showed the CGI trailer or the announcement trailer. Trailer. People would stay excited by the game and, and part with their money. So maybe Capcom is banking on the fact that the series is at its peak in terms of popularity. World so popular, they had a few spin-offs, sold pretty well. Reception's been good from the community reviewers. So maybe they do think they can just announce Monster Hunter 6 or whatever the new namesake is and 
everyone's going to be excited enough to buy it in Feb, March, and they have a strong end to their fiscal year. Maybe that is the plan. What I think, though, is that the Monster Hunter sequel will probably release next year, but I think it might happen when the Switch 2 comes out. Maybe these plans for a new game before the end of March 2024, maybe at some point Switch 2 was due to release in March. Was it the original Switch that released in March 2017? I think that might be the case, so I could be wrong, but maybe that's part of this. I don't think that they would release Monster Hunter before the Switch 2 comes out, because apparently it's sold really well on Nintendo devices, so they could go that way again, but could be wrong. It could be Monster Hunter 6. It probably makes the most sense. So if we look at our list, we've got no Dragon's Dogma 2, we've got no Resident Evil, DMC 6 unlikely, could be Monster Hunter. What about the Dino Crisis remake? Surely, guys. Surely, now is the time. It, it, it's kind of like the Bloodborne PC port or the Bloodborne remake. I'm sure it's going to come at any time. I should say remaster. I'm sure they're not going to remake it yet. But it, it's kind of in that boat. Surely, these games are going to come very, very soon. But we'll have to see. So the mystery has been solved. The major unannounced title from Capcom, it is going to be Dino Crisis Remake, 100%. I'm certain there is there is no way I'm going to be in tears come Feb, March, when it's some sort of re-release collection or, or something like that. Not a new game. Major unannounced could be up for interpretation. Who knows? But there is something else I've been thinking about, which is Resident Evil 9. And some rumors have started to do the rounds that... Suggest that Resident Evil 9 is coming in 2025, but there's juicier details on it because I was under the impression that Resident Evil 7, 8 were going to be contained. So there was going to be basically the end of the Winters storyline, Ethan Winters, the main protagonist from those games, the rot, that whole storyline with the bakers, everything that happened at Castle Dimitri or, or whatever it was, the giant lady, that had all been solved. Apparently not, though. Apparently it genuinely is a trilogy, and much of what we've seen in Resident Evil 7 and 8 is going to be continued in Resident Evil 9. The rumours are from Dust Golem, who's a, a prominent leaker. Now, every leaker, we always hear about how reliable they are, but often they get things wrong. Who knows if they're just lucky guesses, or, or if they are genuinely connected with the developers. I will say, though, that Dust Golem did leak the Silent Hill Konami sort of live stream and everything that was coming. I think it was last year. They at least have some credibility. Given it's a bit of fun, I'm happy to give it the benefit of the doubt, but do take it with a, a grain of salt to some extent. What's been said is that Resident Evil 9, it is going to close out the arc essentially from 7 and 8. And I think it's meant to have Chris and Jill. So it's not going to have Ethan Winters in a starring role that case, and that sort of door is shut. That is, I believe, what the misinterpretation was. We assumed that Resident Evil 8 was the final game of, of that little series, but that's not the case. It's the end of the winter storyline, but not the end of the trilogy, 7, 8, and now 9. So it's going to continue. Apparently 9 has been in dev since 2018, and it's releasing in 2025. So it's had one of the longest development times of any Resident Evil Gets me kind of excited. It may suggest they're trying new things. It's not just going to be more of the same of Village. They may be trying to be quite innovative here. And it's nice to see Capcom do that because if you think about the older Resident Evil games, you had 1, 2, and 3, Code Veronica in a pretty similar style, but 4 innovated the genre. Some people are questionable about that because some say 4 is a great game, but it changed the horror genre for the worse because we got a real action game. But I think with 4 Remake, we now all sort of feel like there is a space for survival horror, genuine survival horror with you're worrying about resources, it's not kicking people in the face, and then you can have that style of 4, and, and they're equally as good in many departments. So I, I think that's okay, but it may be that 9 is something different once again. Capcom want to be leaders in that space. Makes sense. They have sort of controlled that horror market for a while, and they might not be complacent. They may want to really ramp things up. So it seems like this game's been in dev for 7 years, and, and it could be full of some surprises. Supposedly Resident Evil 4 actually released sooner than expected. That, to me, it makes some sense because it seemed like it came out very quickly. I was worried because 3 Remake 
In comparison to 2, it was garbage, let's be honest. It had cut content. What happened to the clock tower? I was looking forward to it. None of that. It was, it was kind of half-assed. So the 4 remake, full of content. If anything, nothing was cut. Once we got the DLC, everything was there, plus more. It was a, a great release and a real return to form, I think, after what happened with 3 Remake. But it still came out earlier than expected. So maybe the plan was to release 4 Remake at the end of this year, separate ways in 2024, and maybe that would be the end of the Resident Evil series for 2024. Because there's a chance we don't get anything Resident Evil related next year. I say that pessimistically, but I could be totally wrong. Because there is another rumour, and it's all about Resident Evil Hank. This is an older rumour, but it's quite relevant now. Because we're talking about Capcom games that might be coming soon. And there was talk about... Resident Evil Hank, which according to a, a mention leak, isn't due out for release until Q4 2024. So that could be our Resident Evil game for 2024. Maybe despite Resident Evil 4 being ahead of schedule, we're getting Resident Evil Hank, which means nothing. I don't know what Hank means. I, the first thought that comes to my mind is Hank from, from Breaking Bad, but, but apparently you've got Hunk, which is, and I know Hunk as like a, a mini game, like an Easter egg in Resident Evil. I, I did that mode in RE2 Remake, where you basically play as an action hero and, and blast your way through a, a section. That's my, my really bad description of it. But I don't know if that means we're getting some sort of action game. Maybe it makes sense, because Chris in Resident Evil 7, DLC, and 8 has those action sections. Maybe they wanted to make a whole game in that style, and that's what Hank is. Maybe it's a typo, and it's actually Resident Evil Hunk. Might be a little controversial for some people, but Capcom have proved themselves recently, so it could be interesting. It could just be any sort of Resident Evil spin-off. We'll have to find it out. Lastly, just in terms of sort of what's coming, some more details on that. So the Resident Evil remake for 2024, so that's potentially that Hank game, whatever that is. And Dusk Golem, who I mentioned, the leaker, he, he has mentioned the Resident Evil remake for 2024. So we should actually get something next year. The idea that Separate Ways is it for a while may not be true. Maybe it's not sort of a long wait till we get Resident Evil 9, aka the final numbered title starring Chris and Jill in 2025. That's interesting. I guess they're going to run out of cool things they can do with the Roman numerals like they did with 7 and 8 and probably 9. They're going to stop that. And maybe we'll just get titles like Resident Evil Village, Biohazard, or, or whatever we're going to call them going forward, rather than just having numbered titles. There is then the Resident Evil 5 remake, which started in 2021, development coming in 2026. So that kind of makes sense, because everything in the Separate Ways DLC really, really suggests that we're getting Resident Evil 5 remake soon enough. Everything points to that. They're not going to skip over it. They're not done with remakes. They are going to continue. I think it's an interesting time. I don't think that 5 remake will generate the same excitement as RE4. So I really think they're going to have to take some risks. They can't just remake the story one for one. I don't think that they would reintroduce Wesker as a villain if he was just going to show up in a DLC for the most part separate ways. He wasn't in much of the original 4. It was like a, a, a twist the full remake, I should say, that he was there at the end. And you were like, whoa, there's that little cameo. What's coming next? Surely it's not DLC, and then he gets killed off again in 5. I think it's going to be a reimagining. 5 and then potentially a 6, they will be different. They'll tie themselves into 7 so that we do have a, a completely modern Resident Evil 2 to 9, I should say, by the end of 2025. Because maybe they will remake 1 to some capacity with their... New engine. Maybe that's something coming. They are making a brand new engine, by the way, and I think 9 is going to be on that engine, and that may be part of the risks that they do take. So it should be interesting, but there's a, a fair bit coming from Capcom, certainly on the Resident Evil front. I don't know if that remake we get next year, that Hank, maybe it could be Code Veronica, and it is some sort of code name. Maybe they don't see Code Veronica as an appealing title to people who aren't already aware of that game. Maybe they want to give it a new title, and I imagine plenty of Wesker like the original game, and, and that might tie things together for the Resident Evil 5 remake that comes out. But things are convoluted just thinking about it. You've got the remake series, you've got the, the Winters games, you've got Resident Evil 9. Even talking about it is confusing me a little bit. So 
So hopefully Capcom, they can just deliver on good gameplay, good titles, make sure everything sort of flows together quite well. I've got some confidence in them. And if they release the game early next year, I'll consider it because they're one of the better developers. And they have said that PC is probably their main platform at the moment. Most of their games are selling on PC. So it should mean they treat us pretty well. We should get good ports, none of the garbage like we've had earlier in the year with our Starfields. Upgrade your PC and, and all of that nonsense. So looking forward to what's to come. And I'll, I'll keep checking out maybe what rumors are in the works. What's going on with the series. But thanks so much for listening. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.